of the sickest comebacks in this event, and it's Liquid against CLG. Welcome back to game two, where CLG are gonna have to dig deep. It's on Mirage as well. Not a light map for Liquid, but it is CLG's map choice. But still, I think that picture of Haze at the end, hands on his head, looking like he was completely defeated before the series had even ended. That took so much for them to give that away. Didn't, uh, didn't adjust enough, weren't being dynamic, just sat back and allowed Simple to do whatever the hell he wanted. The star players living up to their true potential there for Liquid, and it's completely capitalized. You give those guys an inch, they will take a mile every single time. The good news is for CLG is their tactical game, the t side did look very good. They knew what they were doing, and they're going to Mirage. This is their pick. I'd say a more tactical map in a general sense compared to Cash. Cash does complement the heavy fraggers and the star players. So we're going to Mirage. You would assume they will take this one, but from what I've just seen, it's going to take a lot for them to actually get themselves up and dust themselves off. I, I, man, all bets are off. I mean, you get a massive lead from CLG. They're definitely the, the, the top fraggers. They're definitely hitting the shots. JDM, Terrick going nuts. JDM fades in the second half, and Liquid just crushed the momentum. Right then, well, we are getting into the, this. The one thing I do, I want, I want to touch oh, on, on, Simple is going to be someone in this map, again, that will be make or break. He's going to try and make plays, and if it starts to break down, we have to keep an eye on that, as always. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is the second map, Liquid versus CLG. Let's make some noise as we get into this pistol round. CLG, three sets of armor, two smokes as well. That normally suggests an A-sided approach, but they're going to be setting up for more of a default angle so far. No aggression coming in from Liquid to kick things off. We have got Simple pushing off towards Shaw. He was hungry for frags in the first map. Going to be backing off at the moment. 41% versus 50% in pistols, so that's give or take, really. He already clears out the underpass. He's going to get toward middle right now. Simple's forced back on Catwalk because Hazed and JDM are going to work up mid. He's already toward that connection, though. He spots Simple's head. He's definitely spotted Simple's head. Now they have to deal with it. They have to confront him. Smoke deployed to allow them up the stairwell, but one's got to turn to jungle, cover off the window, and Hazed has to fight forward. The two from a main are in the sight, but it's passive. Bomb's going to go down. It's going to be the retake game with only one kid on a Dren who does get the shot on JDM to open it up. And now it's going to be Fugly to take him down. Hayes finding a frag as well. Heavy advantage for CLG, and they're going to find two more. And it's going to be Hayes with the triple. Just Tika remains now. Four on one, and that's the round secured. Fugly finishes things off. A lovely round by Hayes. Decent ace split coming in, working together, locking the CTs out of the game. And it's a fantastic way to open things off and bounce back from that horrible second half on cash. Technical timeout called. Okay. Timeout called. I assume it's technical at this point, this early in the game. It only yes. makes sense, but. Third time in a row, we've had a T-sided pistol. Second one for CLG. Great work. Once again, they didn't even get the first pick on this one. They came back into it by getting so much real estate. What's so good about this execution, that's a textbook CS. As soon as you get the bomb down, you don't want to sit on the site, allow the CTs to have the full retake potential. You want to be pushing them, getting in their faces. Hayes does that perfectly. Retake CT spawn by himself. Gets three headshots as well. Really impressive stuff from him. It looks like we're back into the game as the buys do start to come in. Galil's UMPs and Tech 9 so far for CLG. I think we are still on the pause, actually, so we'll get back in this momentarily. It's a little bit... It looks like it's fugly. We still have the headsets on. That's Liquid on cash. They didn't force up on their CT half on the second round. They were trying to play for the, the bigger picture, making sure they had the bigger rifles and the utility on that first gun round. Looking for what I can see so far, it looks like the same story again. This is going to be a liege purchasing a P250 so far. Five sevens coming out, so I think they're taking the more modest approach, making sure they're not going to have head armor. They're actually just going to sit back and see what they can do. Just some upgraded pistols and keep the money a little bit stronger. So they'll resolve the issues, but again, CLG, who does have them, it's beneficial that they won the first round. The question again, like you said too, is how they approach this buy. Because again, T's or other CTs have sort of one chance, one crack at it before the gun round to force up and do something with it. And if they don't, then it's do the SMGs become more viable or less viable? If they can win the round with the SMGs, then we do get into that bonus round, that Jaden round that we talk about, where you can actually push you, it out a little further. You talk about Jaden. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry, I do. All right. Um, it's going to go, that's the name of it. Okay, well, we'll try and make it a thing. It doesn't feel like it's a thing so far. It's a thing, it's happening. Just to heard in my ear, it is a team speak issue, so it's not a massive deal going on right now, so hopefully that'll be resolved in the next couple of minutes, and we can get back into this one. We can see the buy coming in for CLG, which is MAC-10, UMP, Tech-9, and I assume Hayes and Tarek will be taking on those rifles. Thing is on anti, he goes on Mirage. All you need to do is go into a default, see what the CT is doing. A lot of CTs will decide to go aggressive on their, uh, their eco strats and then try and get it towards the top of the middle. The votes come in, we will be getting back into this one, so 
as I said before, Liquid with the more conservative approach. Simple, of course, why not? He of, he's going straight in with the head armor and the upgraded pistol. He seems like he doesn't want to follow his teammates into this decision, which is interesting because he's been the author as well. That, that's exactly what I was just going to say. This now lends itself to the fact that a Dren is likely going to pick up the first AWP. Yes. Could drop it over, but it looks like Simple is going to go aggressive early and stick to the hybrid rifle style, which he is effective on. There's no denying it. It's Tarek and Fugly going to go over and evaluate what's going on at A1 toward Palace 1 at A main. The other two... Cutler and JDM in the B apartments, and Hayes holding top middle to make sure there's no push from Liquid. You can often see that in these, these eco situations where they push up mid, they try and get early information, get a gun out of this, and really shut down the execution that CLG wants to run before it even takes place. Absolutely. You can see the bomb down in T-Spawn. They're just going to be taking this so slow, seeing if there are any picks available. Smoking out towards the mid window for now, seeing if they can get that desirable mid control. Hayes and JDM will be holding that area. Going to be trying to get some connector presence as well, but a Legion Nitro sat on the other side, ready for this as well. As soon as they suspect a player in there, they're going to face it at the same time as Nitro to get the attention. It's going to get interesting, you know, with getting approached from multiple angles here. And that's a lead to open things up, takes Hayes down. And Hayes looked confused. He should took that first shot. He was trying to bait them out, but then he wasn't sure if he was going to get peeped from window or not. And he had the AK. The SMG from that range couldn't do anything. And a Liege, he takes the fight, jumps out window, catches JDM off, so... They actually get caught being hesitant toward mid, and it works out so well for Liquid. They've surrounded the perimeter of the A site. No one on CT stairs, though. So it should be an okay plant. They smoke it off just in case, smartly so. But Liquid have a real chance back into this. Simple with the armor, has 19 HP, but with the armor, has gone to the AK. It's Elyse that picks up the SMG, but Nitro's gone down. Elyse, he's found one more kill on the Cutler. This is totally doable. He goes suddenly finds Fugly. It's all on Tarek, and he's gone already. What is this? They didn't even invest in armor. It's Simple and Elyse. Elyse actually finding three kills there. The first one through the smoke and connect. He finds two more. The Diffuse will be coming in. I believe they have enough time. Of course, they will. The Diffuse comes in, and CLG, after such a sensational pistol round, Throw it all away in the second round by. Like I said, most teams were just going to a straight up default there. It was two players committed heavily towards Connector. And once they lost that first pick, they were getting attacked from multiple angles, couldn't find the second frag. And they're forced to go into that A bomb site. Five on three, still viable for them, but at least stepping up massively there. What a round from him. And now you would assume it's going to be the same response from CLG trying to reset their opponents. They're actually not going to be doing that. They're going to be going for a full eco here. They want to have the AKs in the next round. Most teams, obviously, the way the money system works, you can have back and forth eco battles because you're trying to reset the opponent, but they're going for the conservative approach here. We're going to round number three. They're just going to have Glocks, a Deagle, and a P250. Oh. I thought Hayes was going to take that shot sooner, get the headshot, but it's Simple that's going to open it up. Hayes caught out in the open. Simple turns back again. Good damage dealt, and he takes down Fugly, but does all the work to make Nitro take down Tarek in the end. He sets it up. GB James certainly likes that. A little get handshake his, Get there. his blood flowing. Yeah, why not? No high fives here. It's all very formal. Handshakes only. As we go into round number four now. He's going to be liquid with the AK-47s. The MAC-10 on a Dren, but CLG have a very strong buy indeed. They have got the AWP on towards JDM. We saw how dangerous he was on the T-side before on cash. Can he replicate that form after a very quiet CT half? We're going to round number four now. And this is it. CLG want to bounce back into this one. Dren's already quickly down toward this underpass as well. He's in a position where he's not going to be spotted. Times it well. Simple comes down to save him. Rather help him. Dren didn't take any damage from that, but good positioning, good awareness. Take that fight before it even exists. But the AWP from JDM catches Simple on retreat. There's no way out, and Dren's locked into this underpass position now. Fugly has gone down to 11 HP as well. We can see Elise and Nitro towards the A site, but Hiko. Going aggressive towards the B apartments, he wants to find that next kill. And this is strictly because of the fact that Adren's locked into underpass. They have to get the trade kill at the top of the stairs. If Cutler gets Adren for free, then it's way too easy for CLG to set up an execution. So Hiko pushes up, Adren actually wins that exchange. He's oh. going to spot up Fugly as well, jumping up. He's going for more Adren. This is the best we've seen him play CSGO. They can fall back now. That kill would have been amazing for Adren, but doesn't need to commit to the situation. He's done enough work here. Hiko and Adren. Synergizing perfectly there in that scenario. Four on two now. JDM and Tarek, after finding the first pick, stuck in a horrible position. Bomb towards T spawn. You can see Nitro gain a decent position as well. He has given a lot of information and will be falling back to a more safe approach. We saw CLG actually come back in a lot of these rounds on cash. It was liquid throwing these situations away, but it seems like they've learned their lesson and will be holding back and forcing CLG to make the next move instead of gifting them kills. Tarek still is going to fancy this. There's 30 seconds to work with, but they need to make a decision fast. If Tarek can't find an opening, then that AWP in JDM's hands is going to be worth holding on to. Keep in mind, he sits on 33 HP. Well, Tarek's going. Place. 
They could actually get free connected here, undetected oh, for now. Spots one. Find that first kill. Elise in the open, no chance to turn back. He's got the sights toward Palace. They've spotted him up. All they have to do is negate him, hold him. But JDM's been caught. Hego comes down, catwalk. Bombs dropped in the sight, and it's all done. There it is. COG once again getting that pick, but it's Adren and Hiko. They were the linchpins in that round. Splitting underpass in the B apartments as well. Great play from Adren. Could have got the third as well, but decided to take the safer approach. Really impressive stuff from them. That's what we need from a CT side. Someone who's willing to push aggressive positions and find those frags and not allow the terrorists to run rampage on the map. Very good stuff so far from Liquid. I think Peter's taking his hairstyle from you, Henry. His looks better than mine. I need to get a cut. That's, I need his stylist. That's a great barber. According to you, it is. <laughs> True. Well, anyway. It is a dren to the AWP this time. Pistols only for CLG. And although this is a 3-1 scoreboard, it's not the reset. Remember, it was the pistol CLG got, so they still have the round bonus building up in their favor. Simple going to smoke into this. We talked about this, the aggressive play style. Simple loves to do this. And he's actually walking into a bit of a trap right now. He needs to be careful. Gets the first one. Not ready oh. for it, but Simple, the reactions. My god. He's just deleted two players in the server. Tarek takes him down in the end, but it's Hiko on the other side to punish Hayes and JDM. Tarek remains. He was the one that found the kill on two wards. Simple hit. Hiko fancies his third. But what a play that was. Liquid aggressive, of course, pushing the apartments once again. Didn't even have to. They knew they were going to be Hiko, but that's, he was hungry for blood. And that, that's simple, isn't it? I mean, yeah, that's course. the make or break. He goes down in that position. It's actually an AK that's quickly grabbable from CLG's side. But man, that second shot, so quick on the reaction. Yeah, yeah like star that. player potential for sure. 4-1 now in favor of Liquid. We go into yet another gun round here. You can see the replay on his screen right now of that six second shot. He's got no idea that player is He's so fast. That's almost like lightning reactions going on there. And here we go, then JDM back onto the, towards the AWP. He's had one kill so far, but it was the kill that opened up the first gun round before the reaction came in from the CTs. And this looks like it's going to be a set execute onto the B site. They're already lining up that smoke. Now there is two you can throw from that position where Cutler is. There's one toward the mid window. There's also one in toward B. We didn't actually see it. It is the mid-window when he threw. So they aren't committing on to B just yet, okay. but Cutler gets simple. That's the exact same play. He gets aggressive, and that time it catches him out. So he needs to start weighing his... I mean, it, it's okay to do it, but you can't do it every single round. He needs to after, be careful about after it. After presence there, two rounds in a row, it's a little bit selfish, I would say, to go for that once again. Now it is the five on four. Gifted the kill. Cutler picks it up. And now it's CLG. They were going to execute towards B. Now they can reevaluate the options. They've got lots of time. The man advantage. The bomb's still down in T-spawn. They have the mid control as well. Hayes makes his way towards the ladder room. So CTs just don't have anything to work with right now. You can see how they've been segregated from the map. Smoke stalks connect to lower ramp and the window as well. Hayes, great positional control. And they're looking like an A play coming in as well from CLG. Good position from Hayes. Really good position from Hayes in this window room right now because he catches a liege off not knowing he was there. Looks away. That forces Adren back, does get the refrag, that's big. With all in this right now, they're putting Adren in a swing position because they're relying on Nitro to catch them off in this A execute. He's gonna see the first smokes come over. He needs to make the call fast though, because Adren's already rotated. He's over toward the B side and the walls are out. Sandwich, Shadow, it's all covered. Nitro's gotta force into Firebox, he's spotted up and Fugly gets the kill on the way through. Adren, up close, Cutler takes him down. This is CLG's round. Absolutely, Nitro could have stepped out there massively, but it's Fugly that finds him now. Hiko in the three and one, bomb just gone down, so he does fancy his chances here. Has of course got a kit. This is CLG's round to lose. If they were to throw this one, it'd be an absolute travesty. There's the first frag. Will be coming in here. It's going to be Tara capitalizing. Takes down Hiko. There it is. CLG finds some footing here on Mirage. It's going to be their second round in four plays two now. We'll have a look at the cash coming in for Liquid, of course. It's so swollen. Look at that. Adren, 12K in the bank, and everyone else can buy as well. So they've got a couple of rounds in the bank here. Double up setup coming in for Simple as well. They're changing it up a little bit. He's been aggressive in the beer apartment. It didn't work out last round, so looking to rectify that now. And he's got a B spawn this time, too. I was just seeing if they had the A, because Simple sometimes likes to go for that jump toward jungle and spot down A main early. But both AWPs are heading toward window and B. It's Nitro and Elise again that will work in tandem. Normally the T side combo, but this time it's CT, it's their A site. And they are playing aggressive again as well. JDM's going to lurk into this. That smoke's got about another six seconds before it starts to fade. What another eight before Nitro has to move away from it. Flashes in. Is Nitro going to go on this? JDM, he fires in. He's anticipating that close angle. But there's a slight... I think Hayes might have a slight gap on this. At least finds Fugly coming through Palace, but they don't. They don't know Nitro's there. He's got two lined up. JDM gets the response. But the damage is done. Lovely close range action there. And JDM does find the kill, but we can see now they're both stuck towards the lower ramp. 
Bombs the, inside the site. They've got to recover it. What a shot from Simple. Rips the head off JDM. And he's just going to leave Cutler now in an unwinnable situation. But he still fancies his chances. He will be edging in towards Shadow. Knows the leaves may be there, but so much discipline from Liquid now. They don't want to throw away any frags here and make sure they guarantee themselves the round. And that's the way to do it. Five plays two now. The money in tatters for CLG after winning that last gun round. Very convincing stuff from Liquid. Only drop Nitro. And that close range crossfire just reads CLG perfectly and tears them apart. It's all eco now. They yeah. can't really justify much else. They could do a tech nine by here and try and get a bomb down, but considering two players are on sub 2000, they can't really justify that at the moment. Perfect start for Liquid this time. We talked about mental game that CLG was going to have to find themselves getting back into. Only one kill. It would have been interesting that time with the one def death that they did have on Liquid's side. If they had gone for an SMG knowing they were going to be up against the full eco, but it is the rifle buy bought back up. Perhaps they just expect to slaughter them and keep it for the next round anyway. My friend did spot one player towards middle with a couple of shots, but got some intel out of it. You can see he's actually underpass play coming in and Cutler working towards the B apartments right now as well. So what's the play here from CLG? They haven't got any utility. They just need to try and boost into window. Maybe he can find his first kill, but Adren is ready. And he's probably hearing all the footsteps as well. Yeah, he's definitely ready. Oh. Misses the shot, though. That gives Fugly the chance. Oh. What a reaction. Okay. Swaps over to the P250. You would have thought Fugly would have seized the opportunity on that one. Yeah, well, what can you do when you're getting your head ripped off like that? They're going to be trying to boost up again from what I can see. They actually have. It's going to be Tarek making his way in there. But Adren ready once again to get a leg him this time. Fancies his second kill of the round. Can he pick it up? Being very disciplined here. Loving this from Liquid. Don't want to give anything away. He has got 27 HP. Adren just dancing on the outside of this. Waiting for Tarek to show himself. He's actually going to shuffle off this simple inside of the site, though. Has Haze. It's Nitro that's dancing in Sandwich. Not detected at all. Position's just so good right now. Simple far forward. All they had left to work with was connector. Well, here comes round number nine. The money's still not amazing. JDM could afford a glass cannon at OVP. That just basically means you have the sniper rifle, you have no armor, you have no grenades. You're just purely banking on the fact you can hit the shots. And the biters come in. JDM on the AK-47. So judging by this, I'd assume this would be a simple AX huge strategy. They want to make sure they have the utility and the AKs to work with. They haven't tried anything like that so far. It's always been kind of default, trying to get the mid control. And we go into Anima 9 now. Double orb setup, still running strong for Adren and Simple. Simple this time towards the A side. This is what makes a top orper, someone who can be relocating themselves and redefining their position every single round and being a complete nuisance to the terrorists. Speaking of being aggressive with the AWP, Adren, Window used to be safe. Now that it's smoked off, more and more oppers are doing this. Jumping down into mid, and he gets the shot on Haze. Smartly had to. Simple was coming over to support so he could get out of middle, but Adren does it himself. Has to give up underpass in the process, so Fugly does get to work up a little bit closer toward mid, but a great first pick. Oh, did he spot the gun barrel? That's the question. I don't think he did. He's only got the tech nine to do anything about it, to be honest. So he's going to be Molotov out of position as well. He's going to be JDM with the AK-47. A simple fancy this, though. Most players would fall back in this scenario with the man advantage. He wants to keep going. Edging slowly in towards JDM. Can he find a frag? Of course he can. Takes him down. Five on three now. Simple just doing absolute work here. The guy is unstoppable. But Good gets... response, though. Cutler gets in. Hiko goes down and suddenly B's open. And Cutler knows that the bomb is a long place away from the site. So his intentions were to get into our checker room and cut off the rotation to buy space and time. This still could work, though. Look what Tarek's doing. He's going to actually rely on that kill, that early rotation on those two entries, to work in his favor. Drop bomb. He's now going to go forward, try and hold off the perimeters of the site and let Fugly come in for the plant. But there's only 33 seconds to do it. And they dropped the bomb towards the lower round, and there's going to be Nitro to take down Tarek. That's the round secured. Fugly has got the AWP, needs to set the world on fire. He's going to make anything of this round. Facing towards Connector and the Discipline play coming in from Liquid once again. He has got the bomb. And should be able to get a plan out of this as well. Big plant as well, because it's the extra $800. This will only be the third round against them, but let's not rule it out. AWP, he's got a chance at this. He's spotting toward Nitro, finds him early. That's one angle done, no one for the refrag. Both peeking at the same time, Fugly! I thought he hit that, but he almost does on the second peak. Elise is going to get it. Got to hit those. He got gifted two opportunities there to find the second kill and didn't hit one of them, so it's going to be Liquid capitalizing. For all I applauded, simple that round as well. He makes some very... Very interesting decisions after getting finding that initial frag. He's such a volatile player, just pushes through the smoke and gave his kill away. I'm not sure if we're going to see it after this. It's a great opening kill, sure. And he actually just decides to run through this own smoke and gives his kill away. I think we may see it. No, we don't. But basically, he just gave his kill away for three in the five on three. He didn't have to, and it came down to the two on one in the end, which does cost the city's money, but they are high rolling right now. Adren with almost 14k. They're going to have tons of cash. Like you said, CLG getting the bomb plant down does allow them to have this partial buy this time. That basically means you have upgraded pistols, body armor, some smokes as well. And it's looked like they will be going for an A-sided attack this time, but Nitro getting up nice and close range once again and simple. 
hunting for more frags in the underpass. So default smoke ramp, Nitro going to go through it. The bomb plant didn't allow for the full buy, but it does give them the force onto the Tech Nines. But JDM, he's got the M4 picked up off that first kill, and he's used it well, but Simple turns around, finds him, goes for a fast shot. Simple you would not doubt in those situations, but two versus two and bomb down. Counter Logic Gaming have done well in this round. They have an AWP as well, and they have position of CT Sport and Fugly. And he has a Tech Nine, but he's in a great position as well. We'll see what Cutler can do with the AWP from lower ramp. Flashbang and Smoke's coming over. This is it. Nico trying to find the angles, Molotov to clear box, but it's no one there. It is Cutler spotted up, he gets hit by that, but still, he finds the angle. Look how low they are. Fugly might only have a Tech-9, but it's one shot on either. They're on the bomb, he needs to hit Hiko, but he can't do it. It's so close to going off as well. That came right down to the wire, but Liquid come in massively. It's actually Cutler that legs Hiko. You thought that was it, the shot was going to land, but he can't quite kill him. And what looked so successful from CLG, a great execution, found the initial frags as well, and got the bomb planted in a decent position. They're unable to capitalize, and Team Liquid take the eighth round. We're going to number 11th now, where there is a full buy coming in for CLG. JDM back on the AWP, but a much different affair to what we saw on Cash. Not really working the frags as effectively. He's currently sat on three for nine. Similar story as well for Tarek. He's actually on four for eight, so the star players yet to actually arrive on the server. So three players on the onset right now looking toward BJDM. Gonna give himself his own pop flash and it works! Hits a Dren! That's one way to open the round. He does take nade damage, but what a start. So we big deal it. that he's Molotov'd off, toffed off, and I'm being the sarcastic style of big deal because they've got the round advantage. They can sit back and stabilize this. We saw this time and time again for CLG, though. Getting that man advantage, then throwing it away. They need to have to capitalize this time and make sure they're efficient in their execution. They're staying together and trading frags. That's all they need to do, trade frags. And they'll be absolutely fine going forward. Plenty of time to play with. The CTs are starting to react. You can see Simple getting aggressive in the B apartments. We've seen it every single round from him. He's going to be spotted, but JDM staying alive for now. Oh, Simple. God. He definitely spotted his foot coming back in. What Simple goes for the face because he has to, but he's trapped. He's inside the smoke. He's stuck. He can't find his way out the door. How did he survive that? Three hop shots and all the Glock bullets in the world, but he does manage to get out. Fugly in the connector now. We'll be able to take that Nitro here. Lovely shot to finish him off. Five on three. Surely this is CLG's round. And Lee's going to do what he can with the Molotov, but it's late on him, man. They're already in the sight, and Fugly's got the shot over the box. Simple as three HP after that exchange. Yeah, Hiko's got 17, so they don't really have any footing in this whatsoever. The one thing that they should look to do right now, Liquid, although their economy, it's... Okay, so they actually are going to go for the save because it's 3,600 for a Liege... Or for a Liege and Nitro, excuse me, but if they could have knocked even one gun down in this situation, they know they're putting CLG up against a reset, potentially. But the risk-reward factor, yeah, exactly. right? So they got Simple on 3 HP, Hiko on 17, potentially losing an AWP there. So I think just saving the weapons this juncture is absolutely fine. They've got five players alive for CLG. You have no idea what you're running into, so... This is not a problem for me. It's CLG's third round, but once again, it's the reset potential. The good news is that they kept five players alive here and they've got the bomb down, so very secure round for them, and they should be able to take lots of cash into the next one. Liquid, let's have a look at theirs. They've, yeah, like you said, it's, it's not great news for Elysian Nitro, but they've saving these two weapons mean they can easily drop and have full buys across the board. Two more will break them. And CLG obviously knew the situation as well, so no chase. Yeah, All no five weapon. alive. CLG's biggest fans. There it is. Been going nuts. They're probably going to have less voice left than we will, Henry. <laughs> Especially the guy in the front there. He's really going for it. I, lo I love it. <laughs> I love it. There's a lot of passion here today. It's awesome. Round number 12 now. I didn't bring the American hat. I forgot at the hotel. The cowboy hat? Would have been perfect. I mean, I'm Canadian, but today I'll chant USA. Okay. Why not? Double orb set up back out for a dread and simple. It was JDM that capitalized last round and got that first pick with simple, aggressive, of course, into the underpass straight away. Just gonna be hiding in the cubby hole as well, waiting for Flashman to come in before he faces. Hasn't got any backup from his teammates either, so this is it. Can he find that next kill? Simple comes. holding for it. He's desperate to find it. That flash, he knows that it's commonly popped, so he goes in toward the cubby. Fugly's here. Oh, this is so, so dangerous. Fugly's getting closer. Ooh. Simple goes for the flick. Now he's in trouble because it's the oh, AK, gosh. but Simple! Every time he seems to pull this crazy stuff off. You thought he was dead to rights there, but apparently he pulls off the no scope. JDM's been tagged as well, and he manages to get out of that situation as well. So great stuff from Simple, keeping the pressure applied. Can you believe that? <laughs> Every time. I'm, I'm so speechless that he hits that shot. 
Fugly had him dead to rights. There was no refrag, no one in window to jump back down, no one in connector to push back in, and Simple gets away with it. Not only that, he gets out of middle with the smoke thrown out, so he's still in this fight. AWP, 39 HP, it's entirely possible. He'll watch B. Adren's gonna take his over towards CT and anchor the A site, but with Catwalk open, with mid relinquish, because they hold Elise back off of this, they can actually go for a 2-2 split onto the B site, and he goes the one inside of it, but Simple again goes for the face, has the information, Hiko goes for the double spray. Only gets the one, and there it is. Finally, they'll knock down the rotation of Elise. They've got a bomb site to work with. But as we said, Simple's still alive, and he's so deadly. In these situations, he spots up JD, and the wall bang comes in. And it's just two players left for CLG to hold this site. There's so much time for Team Liquid. Yeah, they're all rotating from the kitchen area as well. Cutler and Hayes need to have their wits about them if they're going to survive this. Oh, here comes the play. The first kill comes in. It's Hayes to drop a Dren. At least they know where he is. Cutler gets a second. Nitro does manage to do something with that, but it's going to be Cutler to finish things off. Eight plays for CLG stepping up there in the clutch situation. And Cutler to finish things off, and he gets the AWP as well. Money now not such a strong situation for Liquid. They've got about oh, 4.7k average across the board, so... Round number 13 could be interesting for them. That, that's Simple. actually, that, that, that's nuts. There was a really good setup in the B site with two players. Hayes watches both angles and all Cutler has to do is just watch Cat, make sure no one goes there at all. Mm. As soon as Hayes spots, Cutler goes for the reface. Really well done, but as you said, this puts the money on Liquid actually really slim and it's only eight rounds they've built up. If CLG can pull back even six to seven, this becomes a very doable situation for of them. Of course, of course. Now they're going for the mid control straight away. Tarek holding towards the lower ramp and Cutler just holding for the aggression we've seen so many times in those B apartments. This time, though, only the single orb. It's got to be simple. He's towards the connector area once again. Did find that kill onto JDM. Very impressive close-range action. It's got to be JDM coming in to face him as well. There it is. Of course, he lands the shot. Perfect from simple. Gives him the man advantage, and a key player from CLG taken down. Hats off to Liquid for bringing this guy over from the Ukraine. What an impact he's had. I'll still try and work this in mid right now, CLG. As Fugly picks up the AWP. He's actually just throwing that back. They're going to stick with the AKs and try and go for the boost first. They haven't exactly gotten into the window yet, but Hayes now does. No one in ladder room, so he's got this to work with. But look at Elise. This has become the newer style. You give up window, but you just wait at the vent because they have to cross at some point, and Elise works that perfectly. Now it's just connector they have to worry about as Fugly gets closer. And it's Nitro that's super close in this. Pop Flash 1 gets by. Is he going to find him in time? He does. Turns back. Nearly gets the second one on the A slope as well. There it is. Just kind of remains. Does manage to find one. But it's going to be a 4 on 1 situation once again. He doesn't really have anything to work with. Just going to be trying to get one more frag out of this. Smoked out. Bombed down. Everyone chasing down. Gets a drum. But the knife comes in. Simple, of course. Stabs him straight in the chest and takes him down. Just insult to injury. This guy is having an absolute dream of a match. And of course. Just wants to finish it off in style. 16 kills for Simple. That is an absolutely sexy play. The extra money in the bank, and like you say, insult to injury. Here he comes. Why not? <laughs> Man. He goes for it, and it works. And now CLG. Their money gets dire. Once more, they'll be able to bring out enough guns to include an AWP. It's on Tarek this time, not JDM. So that's an interesting choice, considering JDM's impact on the T side of cash. But Tarek's been the one that's quiet. No one really, I should say, has had a lot of kills right now for CLG, but he's only got four himself. It starts off in the favor of Liquid again, two kills. And Cutler's got to find something on this B side because everywhere else they've tried has been shut down, including mid. They've got no mid control right now. You see how versatile Simple is. He just has a sick round of the AWP. He gives that over a Dren and just gets a really nice controlled spray towards the top of middle. And he's actually punished Hayes as well. So five on three once again in favor of Liquid. There is the AWP up on Tarek, but like he said, a very quiet game from him so far. And in terms of map control, they're going to be forcing the issue towards B. He coheres them and he's ready to lock them down. He's going to try and wait this out to play the angles. It's really a game of wits in this position because if it's one misstep he's going to be shown in the open and that's what happens Tarek finds him and then they're going to fight forward Cutler gets wow. a liege this suddenly works out it's three versus three bomb goes down simple so a cat alone Tarek gets it there's no refrag here either okay then three on two CLG were able to hold on strong in this last scenario but it's looking like this might be a stretch too far for Liquid once again bomb ticking away and full control of the side from CLG Adren and Nitro decide to fall back they get the first two frags once again it's that B area it looked like Hiko had that under control, but unable to find that first frag, he gets taken down on his Cutler and Tarek stepping up massively with that AWP. Round number five coming in for CLG. Need all the rounds they can get at this stage. The last two would be fantastic, giving them a real chance of getting back into this, but 
We'll go into the last. That's actually a decent reset for Liquid as well. The money will be pretty diabolical going into the last one, actually. They've managed to save an orb and an AK. That helps, but the rest of the team, they'll be on Famuses and SMGs. So they still have a chance to get this sixth round. Which, considering eco reset twice, it's not a bad job, all things considered. Especially after the heartache of the first map, but still a tall task in front, and Simple has been absolutely on fire. 17 kills for him, the highest on CLG right now. Cutler has nine. But it's the round total that matters. Spugly through the smoke, he's going to put one more in window. That'll allow him to go deeper toward the connector, and it looked like I didn't quite see it at the end of it, but he was going to Molotov the bottom of the stairwell so they can try and get cat control. One in the window right now. Rather, excuse me, in the ladder room right yeah, now. Simple. He's only got the 5 7, so it's weird to put your star player onto the pistol when you've got AKs available. But here we go. Then a very simple play so far from CLG, making their way towards short. This could controlling work still. middle as well. This could work still for simple. That's why he sticks with the 5 7, goes for the AK. He wants it desperately. But Hazed is there. It shuts down a very pivotal point in the map because now they've got Catwalk to work with. And Adren's going to watch this cross. They're going to try and distract and let Heat go. Silently work out late. Hayes is already inside of the site below, and Hiko's got to make a decision. Does he go now or wait? He's going to go right now. He finds oh. one with the nade out, but the shot from JDM. Instant response. Stop. Still, though, two plays two. It's going to be it. The round's tied up. A oh, fantastic shot from JDM. That's such close range. We have got Nitro. It's round number 15. He has no choice but to go for this, but no kit and three players to find once again. The B site has been a massive problem for Liquid. He's coming in, edging in from Kitchen now. Needs to find the first kill, but they've smoked him out. He has got nothing to work with. Needs someone to fate here. It's a two plays that's two. It's help. three still alive. Yeah, that's Don't twice. The bomb. Twice he's, <laughs> he's actually hit his nades off the roof that time. So 9-6 CLG. All things considered, that's actually a reasonable half. Now pressure on Liquid to execute on this T side to really make the entries work again. You look at Nitro. You look at the liege and Simple. Is he going to go to the AWP T side and get super aggressive? It was a fantastic start there from Liquid after losing the pistol as well. They went up 8-2, but CLG finding some form towards the end there. Uh, admirable comeback, actually, to get 9-6. Hazed and Cutler leading the charge. And Cutler with some very impressive entry kills. The rounds are actually 5-3 down, so... You can hear the crowd. They're believing they want CLG to bounce back from this one. The interesting aspect about this storyline as well, yeah, this guy deserves a highlight reel all day long is that if VP, not only is VP the last defending champion, or oh. again, not defending champion in this tournament, but last former champion left in this, this major, yes. if they go down to Luminosity, we actually still have an American final tomorrow. It's just north and south that time. Yeah. Semi-final, I should say. Still so many cool storylines in this entire made. So many upsets, so many different teams we expected to go all the way. Now missing. Fanatic out, I mean, that's huge. Envy out in groups. The current champions of this event. And Fnatic wins that's every only, event between Cluj and now. That's only, what, three months ago. It shows you how much can change in the landscape of Counter-Strike. From the last major to the next. This is why we have the minor system. We, are, we can find these teams and allow them to work themselves up the ranks because so much can change in that short period of time. And so much can change in this game still. 9-6, we said it. If Counter-Logic Gaming can pick up their third pistol round out of the four that will have been played, they give themselves an excellent chance to build momentum, to, if they can stay efficient, get those three rounds tied at 9-9, and if they reset Liquid, then they get everything rolling in their favor. I mean, this is, this is still a really tight game in so many ways. That's a hell of a bomb he's got going on. You love that hair? <laughs> You're all about it. <laughs> anyway, it looks like we are getting into the second half here. Liquid now on the terrorist side, CLG on the CT. We'll see what kind of buys are coming in. Edren with the smoke and two flashbangs, looking at the rest of his team will be on towards armor. Simple, of course, the Desert Eagle. We saw how powerful that could be on cash. Surely, Lightning doesn't strike twice, Matt. Simple might. Simple might, though. He does have rea la reactions, excuse me, as fast as Lightning, so Simple might. Four players on to be Simple at, ho at mid with that Deagle, trying to hold the long angle. But he's eventually going to fall off that. They're going to go for a fast play. Only one utility player, aside from Simple, without the armor. It's Adren with the smoke and two flashes. Hasn't deployed those yet. The first flash goes in. There's no smoke. They're looking to try and use that in the post plant, but Fugly's going to drop one out inside of the site himself. This will cause confusion. It actually gives movement to Liquid and Elysian Nitro. There's the entries we were talking about. They've already got two. 
on to Elise and one on to Nitro. Suddenly, there's just two players remaining for CLG. Such a sick little play there from Liquid. Smoke onto the bomb side. It's taking away so much vision from the CTs. Bundling all over the place. And now it's going to be Hayes and Cutler trying to do what they can, trying to salvage this round in any way possible. Headshot's coming in. It's going to be Cutler to pick up the first one. Simple takes him down, though. And Elise finished things off. There it is. The pistol going in favor of Liquid. They hit double figures. Ten plays six now. And putting CLG up against the ropes. They're currently one map up. One more would do it. And CLG need to decide now. It looks like they will be forcing into the second round. A scout has come out for Cutler as well. If they lose this one, could mean a 3-0 in the second half in favor of Liquid. So a lot on the line here. This force by means a lot. Means a ton and Cutler's the one on the scout. One rifle for Liquid. Interesting decision. Very interesting. And Simple stays on a Deagle as well. Why not? That's, that's actually a bit questionable out of all of it. I can understand the SMGs, but the one Deagle is a bit interesting. Cutler with the scout is going to play off toward the A site. The rest of them will fan out. So two inside the B site. That's Fugly and Tarek. Dren's already around the corner from Kitchen. In the open right now. No flashes, though, on the CT. Actually, take that back. The one player who has a flash is Fugly. He could actually go for a quick pop into this. But they've got the second man now holding it, too. Elise is there, so it would be a one-and-done position. If he picked up two in this, it would be incredible, but let's yeah. not hold our breath on that. Well, there's four players now making their way towards the B apartments for Liquid. They have got... He's got to use the splash now. He has, to, yeah, yeah. he has to get out of there. He's burning alive. He's got to get taken down. There's the alley-oop from Nitro for Elise. Tarek rotating. They know it's a B play now, but you can see there's waiting for the rotations before they go in. But hey, to a lovely shot on the simple. Equalizes the situation. Now they've got a real chance of finding more. And Tarek's inside the site undetected. Hayes is distracting enough that if Tarek can find the opening, this could be huge. This could actually work. They've got JDM down. Tarek's moved. He's away from a trend, but no one's going to spot him. He still comes out undetected, but Nitro finds him immediately after. That could have been tense if Tarek found the second kill out of that. It's all on the Cutler with the scout. A trend's low enough for one. So is Eco. Bomb's going down, but he's found in turn by Adren. Big round there. CLG definitely had some footing into it. A decent setup, and they were finding frags as well, but ultimately only get two, and it's a huge advantage for Liquid now, looking to get that 12th round here. CLG can't really justify much more than maybe a couple of P250s. That will be it. JDM, of course, needs to make sure he has money for the AWP in the first round. Peter on your screen, the coach looking a little bit worried. Simple actually goes UMP here. I thought where they knew it was going to be the full save, and he saved for the Deagle last time. He already had 59 built up. Yeah. I thought he might just save for the AWP immediately, but it's UMP instead. If they win it, he'll get the AWP. He'll have enough for the AWP, whether or not he upgrades. Yeah, well, it's, it should be almost a guaranteed win. There's, I can't even think of a realm where they throw this round four USPs and a Zeus. That's all CLG have to play with. And here comes the Zeus kill. Good work out. Tarek's ready for it. It oh. doesn't land, but it was close, and Simple takes him down. Five on Thor, and it's going to Eco picking up Cutler. Fuck me. Chiming in as well. Good shot from Fugly to take down Simple. That would have been uh, absolutely worth it in front of this audience to get a Zeus kill in, I'm sure. I but think the room would have exploded. Yeah, we got would it would have been up. great. I haven't seen one in a while. I would have loved it. But either way, it is going to be another round looking like it's going the way of Liquid. Just two players remaining, and it's JDM that's picked up the UMP. Yeah, it's not the most ideal weapon to be taking into the next round, I have to say. But it, we've seen it in the current meta. Coming into gun rounds as definitely viable in certain situations can be very useful. They're gonna pick up a kill on Tahiko as well. Make it a double for JDM. Gets the lead and actually matching the upgrade to AKs now. It's more useful for that. Exit kills that's gonna hurt the economy of liquid. And like you say, they get an AK out of it, so. Well then. Good enough. That Even works. if he wasn't gonna use it in the next round, it certainly paid off in this one. Absolutely. So liquid still have a huge advantage here, but that definitely helps. Managed to get CLG's money buffed a little bit into the next round. It's gonna be 12 play six now. Three kills established for CLG, so a decent eco for them considering what they had. They had four USPs, a P250, and a Zeus. They managed to kill three of Liquid, but they weren't able to find the round. Let's see how we get into this one. JDM with tons of cash. We'll be able to get the orb. Definitely no chance of a double, though. No! He's enjoying himself. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Um, we can see now where Liquid are deciding to go with this. Simple, we'll get the AWP. We we're kind of wondering whether it be a Dren or Simple, but he's been so aggressive. He seems so audacious every single phase, not scared of any situation or going for any smoke. He's happy to do it. That guy is serious. He is so serious. Simple with the AWP. Already looking toward the bottom of the stairwell at Slope in case there's any aggression. Nitro, standard pop flash down the stairwell. No aggression from JDM, who is in the window with his AWP. I can actually sit really passive, and this is similar to what we saw from them on Cash as well on their CT side. CLG was not willing to take the chances. Well, it's looking like we have three players towards the A ramp for Liquid at the moment. 
could go into a smoke execution. They're not lined up them just yet, but they are in the right positions in terms of where well, they would go to throw the simple a skew. Yeah, simple lining up as well. So I'd assume it's to be smoke towards jungle, the steps, CT spawn, maybe smoke on the side to actually allow a quick plan to go down. But this is an AXQ coming in. It's quite a passive hold from CLG. Will they be able to hold this off, especially with the aggression coming in from simple? Actually, maybe a fake, you know, Matt. They're, get, they're getting out. Oh, what's just happened? JD just took down Haze. No, they're not even there. What's happened? We need a replay. I think that was through the smoke. I think the smokes came out at the top of the... What? I think he tried to time it so that when the smokes came out, he would cover no. the cross and he hits Haze. This Don't... is so problematic. What? Haze is... just sat back in uh, absolute despair right I think, now. I think that's his normal position, to be fair. But he likes to sit back in the chair quite a lot, so I'm told. Well, JDM, but Haze himself oh, right, is sitting see. back right now. This is... Bad doers, he makes up for it slightly. He will get a liege back, but now the execution is coming into the B site. Fugly waiting, spotting. Has to rotate off of this Molotov toward Van to try and limit them as he can, but he has to get in position. He has to get closer. Thankfully, Terex helped him tremendously. Good shot from Simple. He lands and turns fast enough. The UMP in that situation, you would have had to favor. And now the palm goes down for Liquid. First gun round, this is exactly what we said. This is the perfect start for Liquid to close this series. This is it, three on two now, and Simple, even though he's got 16 HP, just ready to face, and the CT trying to work out whether this is worth it. Do they need to take it on the chin? Looks like they will be hunting for a little bit longer. They're gonna be pushing through the window now. Someone has made it out. It's gonna be Tarek, gets the first frag, takes down Simple as well. Two on two, can't get the second. Hiko punishes him, now JDM. After getting that first team kill, this would be an absolute miracle if we can do something with this. Misses the first shot, needs to make something happen now. It's gonna be too oh! much, or is it? Hits the no-scope, baits him out, he knows he's toward this, but this is actually it. Bro's never fake it, and Dren doesn't care, he knows it. Wow. Imagine if Hazed was still in the round, I hate to say it like that, because it makes it sound harsh for JDM, but he nearly works it himself. I'm just trying to work out what the hell happened there. This is a straight-up headshot on your own teammate before you've spotted an enemy. I must have been what you said, it must have been straight through the smoke. And a, a horrible blunder. But he did come very close to winning the round. Had that full defuse had worked out, that would have been so nuts. One HP as well. Adren, he's been great for clutches this tournament, holding his nerve every single time, you have to say. Tournament of his life. Oh, Hands yeah, down, oh, tournament sure. of his life. This guy's playing some of the best CS he's ever played. 21 and 12 for a simple, but 14 and 6 for Adren right now. Well, here we go then, CLG with no option but to be on the, a partial buy here. They've got 5 7 head armor. A scout on towards Cutler. It's desperation as Team Liquid coming in and to their 14th round and a lot of damage inflicted on towards Tarek. 15 HP for him. It's Adren that finds that initial shot. They can just play a default at this stage. We can see Hayes made his way in towards lower ramp. And we have got Hiko towards the end of Palace as well. He's just listening out for information and hear, see if he can hear any footsteps here. Nice double push though. Tarek so low inside window. It's Common, you might see one pushed up into this A ramp, ramp, ramp position, but seeing two there, I mean, it's still a gamble, but it could work out. And Adren's going to go alone. He's got players behind him, but far enough away that they won't be able to refrag immediately. Problem is, there's no smoke on it, so they won't be able to shuffle out as quick either. And they are going to check it. Both Great of them check. Adren again. He's playing so well. Simple. It's okay. <laughs> it looked like it was a double. It's actually his teammate, but yeah. in that situation, he can't be blamed. You have to take the shot to take down your opponent. Of course. Ali's wrong place, wrong time. Bomb's going to go down regardless. Yeah, I've always told my teammates, if you have to kill me to kill them, always do it. It's worth it instead of letting them get a multi kill on you. So there it is. Simple will take down Tarek as well. Just fucking remains. There it is. 14 6. Touching distance now of match points. This round means everything. CLG have money. Could get the double orbs if they wanted to. There's one. Hayes could join him. Going to be opting for the rifle setup here now, but Liquid so close. Nice job with the UMP as well. Why not? As we enter round number 21. I don't think we've seen the tactical pause yet come in. That's actually a really good point. Like, when is, when is too late? They like, got back into the first half, but I mean, this, this has to be. You got to look at that. 14 6, you haven't found a round yet. So I think so surely Pitta should be like saying, right, guys, take a pause. We need to consider what we're doing this round. We need to make sure we win it. We need to be taking something to all. And here comes a jump face again. It's going to be simple. Can he find anything from it? He can't, but I it's always it. fun to watch. I love that they're doing it. This just shows the confidence they have. JW's one okay. of the only ones who does it. He finds JDM through the smoke. He might get away with this. Ali is just going to go down, and he refaces Tarek. Oh, my God. This is some of the best CS from Adren, but not only him, Simple is stepping up to new levels. Absolutely insane. And he just comes out of Palace, completely punishes Cutler there. Four on two now. Hayes does find Simple. Signs of life here. Can he do anything more? He's going to be taken down by the UMP in the end. And it's Fugly to avoid match point. Needs to find three. 
Not much of a chance in it, aside from the fact that Bomb's not planted. Now he's actually, okay, so getting Nitro, Bomb's down at the horseshoe, they're split. If he can isolate this into multiple one-on-one -on -one situations, Fugly actually could pull this off. He's got a full arsenal of nades still to work with. No head armor, but it doesn't matter against the AKs, but also has the kit. He's yes. fallen off this to B, though, and he's actually, the unfortunate part is, with Hiko so far in the A site, and trying to have to go back to the bomb, they're just going to walk it over to A now. You say the A site, but Hiko's actually made all that spawn as well. He can just get in the most disgusting of positions now and cover his teammate. 30 seconds remain. You can see Fugly has taken the all-in play and has gone straight up for the B. Stance here, hoping it works out for him, but like you said, unfortunate in this stance because the bomb will be going down A momentarily. They're being very efficient about it, though. They don't want to give anything away, making sure they check every position. There's the CD spawn plant, and this is so hard for Fugly now. He's aware of it, and he will be going towards jungle. The former Liquid player against Adren and Hiko, former teammates in a dire situation. He's already made his way toward jungle spotted, though. Hiko's got the information. And now Adren's going to put himself in a position where he won't be able to peek. Not spotted. He doesn't want to overcommit to this yet because Hiko's fallen back. But they're just letting Fugly walk himself into a corner, walk himself into a trap. There that is. is Hiko. 15 play six. Perfectly played from Liquid. Get himself in the two on one. Fugly did find a kill, but wasn't enough. They were so efficient and so methodical with the way they played that situation. Planning for CT spawn, Hiko had already established full control of that area. And this play from Simple, this was nuts. How did he get two kills out of this? First one comes in, fully blind of course, but he gets it. Turns around and gets the next one through to smoke as well. 15 plays six now. CLG fully up against the ropes, no money. Scouts, Famuses, five sevens. And Luka can finish things off right here, right now in map number two. Simple's already rebasing it. Doesn't hit the jump this time on JDM. No leg shot either gets away with it. Just the poor scout though for JDM, not the AWP, and they've done everything they can because they have to. It's going to be just a 5-7 for Tarek. And Fugly with the smoke in front, firing into it with the anticipation that someone might be waiting on the other side of it, but no one is. As Liquid can slow this down. Pop flash out might give more information though to Fugly. He's gonna try and hold that position. He's called for Tarek to get into closer position on Catwalk. Does give up more inside middle, but it might get the 5-7 in a position below the window where it's a light, slightly more viable. And that smoke's gonna dissolve any second. So Simple will take the face. They've timed it, they just waited this out. No smokes left on the CT side. It's a Molotov that will, the last of which, by the way, to try and slow them down. After this, it's fair game. Liquid can execute. They can pour into the site. Yeah, all five players this side of the map. Fugly got a lot of work to do. As here comes Liquid. They're about to make the play. Fugly, do you dare face this? It's a waiting game. It's a battle of wits. He's shifted positions about three times. He's still not 100% sure if they're even walking out this direction. Now he will. Now he'll hear the Molotovs going into the back of the site. Blind it up perfectly. The timing of the flash was there. Elysian Nitro, the one-two combo. Once again, Bomb's going to go down. And Liquid are on the brink. It's one round five versus three. Hayes in a good position, though. Doesn't get the first shot. Needs to take a Dren. Information give, given, but it's a chance. It's a hope for CLG to live on. But Liquid, the team who qualified first in their group, who beat Fnatic in a best of one, have a chance to close it. Hayes does an excellent job. He's found more ground. It's Hiko, though, that's going to turn it. JDM, it's back and forth, but Hiko's done it. Hayes goes down, and Liquid will move on to the semifinal. Amazing performance. We had our doubts going into this one. We knew CLG with a stronger unit as a team, but the firepower it available in Liquid was just too much. What a phenomenal game from Simple. Carries them over and such a convincing scoreline as well. This was CLG's pick, Mirage, and it's 16 6 to finish things off. 2 0. Liquid are going to the semi finals. Sensational stuff from them. And hats off to, to CLG. I mean, not only did they make it this far, they made it two NA teams into the playoffs. They've got legendary status. They'll be invited to the next major. But you have to look at Tarek and JDM and say what an excellent, not to discount anyone else on that team, but what an excellent tournament for them. We've never seen them show up at the same time, and it's a large contribution on why they get this far, but that man, over from the Ukraine at 19 years old, and what an absolutely tremendous tournament. I have to say, he and Adren have been lights out, and Adren, like, am I saying that right now? The, the, the punchline of most of the jokes of the last year, he steps up and proves the haters wrong. What a fantastic tournament he's had. Amazing stuff from him, and it's, a, it's good to see him coming into this like mercenary role and actually living up to expectations. Really cool stuff. CLG, though, going 12-3 up in that first half. We thought they were turning up to this uh, quarterfinal, and unfortunately, just dropped off ever since the second half of cash began. So Liquid will move forward.
They don't know who they'll play yet. It's VP or Luminosity. We find that out tomorrow. But this man was in tears last time they advanced into the major. It's simple with Puckett. Simple, my friend. Last time we were here, a few different emotions. You felt that you had let your team down and that they had carried you. This was one of the most impressive matches we have ever seen from a player on Team Liquid. Give it up for the man. How has your team? How has your team improved since we saw you last? They're the best. They seem to be the best, and you are playing lights out. Now, talk to me a little bit. Coming into this tournament, we saw your group. We thought it would be a tough road. After the massive win over Fnatic, how far did you know this team could go? Uh, I knew that we're going to win Fnatic. I knew that we're going to surprise them because they undefeated champions, you know, three major in a row. And we just surprised them, going in quarterfinals. So our bracket most easily than another bracket, where it's Astralis, Fnatic. We just surprised them, that's all. Now talk to me a little bit about this match in particular. You were down 12-3 in those three rounds that you got in the first half on cash. It was from amazing individual performances. How did the whole team rally back, though, on the next side? It's because uh, Nation Wild Arena. Thank you, guys. That's right, the crowd getting behind you guys. You felt the energy. You definitely turned up the game to the next level. When did you know you would be able to close this out against CLG and advance to the semifinals? On last map, on last round, I knew that we're going to the semifinals. They're strong. They're strong opponents. It was fun to play against them. I wish them good luck. They can be better. Tomorrow, we will see the last quarterfinals. Virtus Pro, Luminosity, you'll be playing the winner of that match for a spot in the finals here of the first ever North American Major. Who do you hope to play? I hope to play against Luminosity. He hopes to play against Luminosity. How incredible would that matchup be? And simple final question for you, my friend. What do you want to say to all of the fans who have been cheering you on all day? Thank you, guys. And I want to say uh, thank you, everyone, who Thank you, my parents. Thank you, my girlfriend. Thank you, Team Liquid. And thank you, every sponsor. It's very helped me and my team. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Just 19 years old and already a superstar. Liquid Simple, everybody. We're going to a quick commercial break. But when we return, Scoots and the boys will break down all the action from today.